Okay, so continuing on from our previous video, we'd like to show you some other uh, basic uh, operations inside of CASA Draft, specifically related to generating uh, views of 3D models. Uh, now, before we begin, I'm just going to show you something else here. I'm going to right-click over here on the uh, left-hand side of, of the window and turn on my Views Tree window. And this is very similar to the Scene Browser inside of uh, IronCAD, and this gives you a, a tree view of all the objects that are inside your, your 2D drawing. So we'll go ahead and create our views. And then as before, we'll do the first angle. And you can see here that the uh, the views are starting to appear in, inside the browser. You can use this to uh, select the views, to select the group, the individual uh, views here. So we'll go ahead and close that and move that view there. What I'd like to start now is showing you some of the other view commands that are that are available over here in the 3D views uh, toolbar. And the first one we're going to do is a project view. And again, as I mentioned before, we have the command window. This shows you uh, each step, what's expected as you're going through the commands. So you know, it's very helpful when you're trying to uh, learn the application. You always see what the next what the next step is down on, in the command window. So first, we're going to pick our parent view, and then the view appears. And You'll notice as I move around, the view automatically updates based on where the uh, mouse is. And I can set this view anywhere I like. I'll, maybe I'll set it here for now. And as I mentioned before, you've got a left mouse button click and a right mouse button click. Uh, the context depends on the command. Uh, and this, with this particular command, clicking the left mouse button would select and place another uh, view. So I can place another view and I can continue on this operation until I'm ready to, to cancel. And as you can see, in the command window down here, just right click to cancel. So I right click and and I'm done. The next view we can do is also is called a uh, direct view. And this is this is a pretty interesting interesting uh, tool here. We we can go in and just go ahead and select the view that we want to use. And now we can pick any element on the drawing to set up the angle of the view. Um, in fact, if I want to go all the way in here and just click on this chamfered edge, I can do that, and then I get my the view that I that I uh, selected, and I can do that for other areas on site on, on the design. So if I wanted to create another direct view, again, pick here. We'll say I want it from this face, and there's our there's our direct view. So pretty powerful stuff. So let's go ahead here and delete those. Now the next type of view is a section view. So it's called a cutaway view in Casa Draft. Uh, we'll turn on the tool, and the first thing you need to do is draw your cutting line. And you can use uh, staggered lines if you want. I'm just going to use a, a standard line here in the uh, demonstration. Um, so we've placed the line, and I'm now going to click uh, the right mouse button to uh, set the line and now the command window here is showing me I need to pick the arrow for the uh, direction of the view so I'll click this arrow down here and the next step is saying place uh, where you want to have the uh, label for the view so I'm going to pl place the label there and I can if I keep clicking with the left mouse button I can put uh, multiple uh, labels down but now I'm ready to move on so I click the right mouse button and the view is placed. And again, the threads and uh, hatch patterns and, and everything can be customized in the, st in the style menu. Another type of view, now this, this is a, your standard section view, so you get the, the, the 3D uh, geometry through all, all the way through, all the uh, silhouette lines. But we also have the option to just do a, a virtual cut of a view to take a look inside and to use that we're going to go in and use the uh, sectional cut command and the implementation is very similar we'll just draw our cutting line pick the arrow direction place the label and with the right mouse button build the view 
So slightly different. You don't see any silhouette lines or hidden edges in this view because it's just a di dynamic cut of the actual uh, of the actual view. Uh, detail views. We can create those. We'll just uh, create a detail view. I'll just uh, let's get in the location here. Go to my detail view, and first I'll set my detail view circle. Now it's asking me, do I want to explode the geometry after I create the section view? I, I do not. If I explode it, then I'm just going to have a, a selection of line segments, similar to do, if, when you issue an explode command inside of AutoCAD. So uh, I'm going to say no. I don't want to set that. And uh, we're put our, we'll put our insert point. And that's for the uh, label. Then we'll set the object. And now we can rotate it based on the angle that we want. We'll just keep it uh, that way. And then we'll put our label down there, and we've got our section view done. It's got the scale in there and everything. And it is an object, so I can right-click over here, open up my view trees again, and there's the uh, there's the uh, view, and I can go into its properties and adjust whatnot. Um, so let's do this. Hide that again. Uh, the last thing I'd like to show is how to create the bill of materials. Um, it's a slightly different procedure, but not too different from what you do in IronCAD. We'll just turn on the Bill of Materials tool, and I'm going to browse for the scene file that we're using. And then if I click OK, I can place a Bill of Materials, and if there's any Bill of Materials data in there, I can uh, it'll show up inside the, the actual uh, drawing. So that's just a brief overview of how to, how to use a lot of the uh, 3D commands. You know, we've got a the standard uh, uh, camera commands up here, you know, F3 will fit the scene. You can zoom to extent, zoom zoom to a window, zoom in and out. Uh, all your standard 2D commands that you're familiar with from using uh, Autodesk uh, and Telecad, Cadian packages like that. Thank you very much.